Hi there, it's Daniel O'Connor here from Warbit. And I'm going to quickly show you how to add a number of items in sequence quickly and easily. Okay, so this video is for anybody who's doing a room clearance or a building clearance, or they need to upload a few items in succession. Okay, this is to save you time. So let's add an item. So click on add an item already. Let's put in, I'm going to dispose of some operator's chairs. Nice chairs. So these are operators chairs, the kind that you put on under your desk. So put in operator, there we go, operators chair. Click on that. So we've classified it as operators chairs. I've got 10 of them, 10 chairs, and they're in fair condition, and they're in my office. And I'm gonna add them from today. I'm gonna add advertise them for a few weeks. Now I haven't got any photos. If you have some photos, it's much better to upload your own photos. If you haven't, click no, and then you can select chairs from the photo library. Okay, so there's a blue operator's chairs and they're just like that, so I'll add them, okay, blue, and I'll add those items, okay, so those 10 blue chairs have been added to the system, okay, now, if you're clearing a number of items in succession, there's a bit of a time save feature here, which I'm going to talk about, okay, if you're adding items which are totally unrelated, then just use this button, but if they're related in some way, either by location, style or size or category or whatever you can use this add another like this button when i click this button it will it will repeat the record okay and we just need to edit it in a little way to then add some more items so nice chairs i'll keep that the same operator chairs i'll keep that the same 10 I've, I've actually got 12 of these so i'll change that conditions all the same locations the same available from advertising until that's the same okay i need to change that blue chair to something else so i will just get rid of that image and i'll pick um a, well they're actually burgundy these chairs so let's have a look um, and they're just like that so let's use them ones okay add the item okay that's much quicker than adding separate items okay now let's carry on and just show you how this can be done for other items we also as well as having those chairs to find homes for We've got some desks to find homes for, so we need to recategorize that from chairs to desks. So, a desk, so they they're corner desks. So, that's been recategorized. The numbers are different, so we've got the dimensions are different, conditions the same, locations the same, dates are the same, photo is going to be different. So let's remove this image of the chairs and we'll change that to desks. So we've added them desks now. So very quickly, in the last 40 seconds, we've added blue operators chairs, burgundy operators chairs and desks. Let's just do one more example. So we're going to add another like this. Okay. Now with desks, there are always pedestals as well. So these are peds, pedestals. Let's recategorize. Ped. There we go. Pedestals, desk storage. Let's recategorize as pedestals. We've got 40 of those because I match the desks. Let's change the dimensions. Uh, conditions are the same, location is the same, dates are the same, photos we need to change because this thinks we're trying to upload some photos of desks, so let's get rid of that. Now we'll, be now we'll be presented with a load of images of pedestals. And there's the pedestals added, okay? So very quickly, we've added chairs, chairs, desks, pedestals. And what you can do is, when you're moving through the, the assets in a room, you just go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, adding the assets, okay? The aim is you want to be changing as minimum amount of detail between records uh, to save time, okay? So I hope that was useful. Enjoy the rest of your day.